prophetic word for the month of Nisan. How you start this month is key for the rest of the spiritual Hebrew year as you will gain momentum advancing into your destiny. I see the lion of the tribe of Judah shaking his mane and strongly roaring. This is the lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus, roaring through you. The roar of the lion of the tribe of Judah are the words of God that are spoken through you. They will flow in various forms, prophetic words, songs, messages, speeches, teachings, preachings, business proposals, business presentations, charts, designs, paintings, and everything that you communicate that came from Holy Spirit. I hear the Lord say that His words through you will speak loud in the spirit realm, and it will cause things to get into motion. I see a stop clock working again. God is saying that things that you started and that were stop, they will start again. They will gain momentum until accomplished. He is giving you now a finishing anointing. He will redeem the time like no time has been wasted. Celebrate, says the Lord, new beginnings and accomplishes that will bring glory to his name. Watch your speech. As I see that the sound has the power to break glass bottles. What this means is that words have the power to break people's souls. There are people that they look up to you, they love you, and their hearts are wide open to receive through you. Watch your words so you will not hurt those around you. Watch what you say, for your words carry power, overcoming power, building po power, wisdom power, revelation power, and more. The words that God will roar through you in this season will be very intimidating against your spiritual enemies. I see a mirror being shattered by the power of the roar. And what this means is that where the enemy was attacking your image, your identity is being shattered and, and will affect you no more. You are bold as a lion. You will not back down from a spiritual fight. I see the enemy crawling down, trying to get out of the fight. You will roar and continue to roar. You are as bold as a lion. And you are a bold lion with a new warrior spirit that has come upon you. And for some of you, the new warrior spirit is coming upon you right now. I see fire on your eyes. It's new Holy Spirit fire, consuming fire. Demons see that, fi that fire in your eyes and they get irritated because they know their day to be expelled has come. I hear the Lord say that the power of the roar, the power of the words of God through you will give you physical power. I see the power of light similar to electricity flowing and God causes you to be energized. God is saying that through this power, he is healing nervous systems right now. Receive your healing right now. Go forth and release that healing into others that you encounter with these issues. 
as the lion of the tribe of Judah roars. I see that the sounds cause the fields of plants and vegetation to grow. And it causes to spring new life in the region. Here is what the Lord says. Release my prophetic words. The roaring of Judah over the fields, the region. My words will cause the fields, the regions, harvest to grow. I see some already picking up the harvest, meaning they are bringing people into salvation. The Lord is bringing the people of the region into a place of maturity, readiness, state, where they can receive the gospel of the kingdom. The Lord says, follow my promptings when I nudge you to share the gospel with strangers. Do not hesitate. The time is here and now faith and the harvest is ready. I have sent the harvesters, the angels, to labor together with you for the gathering of the harvest. There is a cry a groaning from creation and the earth for the sons and daughters of God to release the sound of the blood of Jesus. The earth looks dry. It's crying and groaning for the life-giving blood of Jesus. The sound of the blood of Jesus releases power that causes the earth to be fed with abundant life. Release the sound of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has a voice and it speaks better things. As you release the sound, the voice of the blood of Jesus, the sound of healing is being released. I see new life springs forth from the ground. That, that that was dead, it's coming to life. Resurrection power is being released. Things are being shaken with the resurrection power of life. I see that as you release praises to God first, your enemies are scattered. Your praises will confound your enemies. I see in a vision, they cover their ears, but they can't block the sound of violent praise. And it becomes tormenting. To your spiritual enemies. Darkness cannot overcome the light. The kingdom of light expels darkness. Speak light. Praises full of light and joy. I see lots of uh, dancing on this season. I see lines of people, one person behind the other, with their hands on the waist of the person in front of them. And they are dancing, going on the same direction. I hear the Lord say, releasing praises to me will bring the body of Christ in unity, in one accord, into joy. Second Chronicles chapter 20. Verse 22, now when they began to sing and uh, to praise, the Lord set ambushes against the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, who had come against Judah, and they were defeated. There is a song the Holy Spirit wants me to tell you about. The name of that song is uh, Dance With Me by Paul Wilbur. It's a beautiful song. I encourage you to listen to that song. During this month, as you submit to the Lord and seek Him with all your heart, you will experience a Passover celebration in the spirit realm and natural realm like any other Passover celebration before. You will see the hand of God over you, covering you. I see you on your knees in a beautiful, peaceful time with the Lord. You will enter into new, intimate, and glorious times of repentance 
that will take you into a new level of submission to God. He will bring you into a greater sensitivity of the Holy Spirit. You will weep when Holy Spirit weeps. You will laugh when Holy Spirit laughs. You will speak when Holy Spirit speaks. You will know intimately what Jesus likes, what he dislikes. You will become more in tune with his likes and dislikes. These times of repentance and the washing of sins through the blood of the Lamb will carry you into new experiences of deeper deliverance and deep spiritual cleansing, spiritual battles, sickness, and other stubborn things that you have been battling for a long time will begin to break off. They will not be able to stand the power of the blood and the forgiveness of sins. I will take you, says the Lord, from grace to grace. I'm giving you grace for what I have called you to do. If you want grace in areas of your life where you feel that you lack grace, ask me, says the Lord. I will give you grace. My grace will help you and help you to be empowered. The grace of God will empower you to accomplish what you alone can't accomplish on your own strength. I see a white paper with a list of expectations from the Lord. And I see that some of the expectations on the bottom of the list have been crossed off because the miracles have already manifested. And the more and the more are to come, more miracles will come, more manifestations of miracles are to come. God says, I'm giving you creative words for you to speak. These creative words have creative power for miracles. Organs, body parts to be created. If they are missing, I'm able to create them, says the Lord. God says, speak from my creative realm and release creative miracles. My words will go forth and create miracles. Expect miracles ahead of time. Do not wait until you arrive to a certain place to release a miracle. Start now in the secret place, says the Lord. I am sending the miracle power ahead of you. I hear the Lord say that he is activating in you right now the power gifts, which are gift of faith, gift of healings, gift of miracles. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. God says, receive the activation and believe. Go and start using them. You will see explosions of healings of all kinds and miracles of all kinds, even crazy, unusual, out of the ordinary miracles. God is saying, get used to different. He remind me of a phrase used at one of the chosen movies. And that is get used to different. I see a window of heaven. It's a window of revelation full of light, shining bright. As you seek God consistently, similar to Daniel, the breath of God, the breath of God will be released through the window of heaven. And you will receive new breath that you will turn into praises. You will receive new breath that will release new revelation, interpretation, and application that will revolutionize your life as you follow his leading, his path of wisdom and life. This new breath will empower you to release anointed shouts throughout this month. You will shout victory. This month, it's about the right foot forward, best foot forward in trust, using your authority in Christ Jesus with confidence in God. Your feet will walk new steps, new beginnings. You are stepping into the new and Holy Spirit is saying, 
occupy the territory and establish the kingdom of God. Watch also your steps because you might stand on holy ground with your right foot forward. You are entering through many doors. I see lots of gold doors in line, one behind the other, similar to dominoes. And they are all open before you. Every door forms a path before you. These doors are doors of new beginnings, opportunities, access, and business opportunities. Businesses and organizations, I see you fishing. Ask God to show you where the fat fish is located. Ask God to show you where the fish with a coin in the mouth is located. As you follow his voice, you will catch the fish with a coin in his mouth and will and, and, uh, we'll be able to pay expenses that you have been carrying every month because you could not pay them before. For those who had issues paying taxes, God is saying redemption for you as he leads you to find the coins in the mouth of the fish for you to pay your taxes, even taxes that you were carrying for five years that you could not pay in full before. Create Great prosperity from hidden resources, success and wealth. Expect miracles of all kinds, says the Lord. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27. Thank you, friends, for listening to this monthly prophetic word for the month of Nisan. I'm Lorena Cox, leader of Prophetic Community USA. Thank you for listening.